So this is Netflix's most expensive movie to date. If you want a chance to win $100, hit the subscribe button right now. Also hit the like button and leave me two good comments about the video and you're likely to win a hundred bucks. Just do it right now. Do it. This movie stars the three most charismatic actors working today. The standout for me was the always stunning, the always sensual, the sexy, the glamorous, Ryan Reynolds. Mm. <laughs> no, seriously, Gal Gadot was fabulous as always, and she actually surprised me in this performance. And of course, we wouldn't even be watching this film if it wasn't for- this movie relies heavily on these three actors' chemistry, and god dang it, they do play well together. In this movie, the top FBI profiler is forced to partner with the world's greatest art thief in order to capture the world's most wanted art thief, sending them on a globe-trotting adventure. The Rock plays FBI profiler John Hartley, Ryan Reynolds plays the top art thief Booth, and Gal Gadot plays the most wanted art thief Bishop. This movie centers around three priceless eggs given to Cleopatra by Mark Antony, making them the prime targets for our characters. Red Notice feels like a combination of Indiana Jones and the Fast and Furious. Watching this, I was like, maybe The Rock wanted to get out of the Fast franchise and start his own franchise. Because we've already seen him with Ryan Reynolds and Hobbs and Shaw, and Gal Gadot was also in Fast Five. In this movie, Ryan Reynolds feels like a mix between the bullshit version of Deadpool and the silly adorable dummy from Free Guy. Look guys, this shtick works so well for him, but if you're getting tired of the same old Ryan Reynolds stuff, then maybe sit this one out. And The Rock too. I just saw Jungle Cruise, and it's pretty much the same thing. That said, they do work well together. The Rock being this big stoic badass, and Ryan Reynolds being this smart ass with the quippy one-liners. And you gotta love the way he pisses The Rock off. Personally, I would love Ryan Reynolds to follow me around all day and whisper his shit talking to my ear. You're so old, you make dust look like a baby. Gal Gadot got to have some fun in this movie. She's cunning and sexy, but she also had a chance to play with her character and let loose. Loosey goosey, baby. Now, I feel like this is a treasure hunt film, but I feel like they went off the rails a little bit. Like these are fugitives on the run and hiding, and somehow they're jumping from country to country to country, and there's a lot of conveniences and cliche moments. So much so that Ryan Reynolds starts to kind of break the fourth wall and he starts deflecting these eye rolling moments. It's pretty smart writing and in the end, it kind of worked for the movie and actually made it have a little more fun. So let's get to my final thoughts about Red Notice. It feels like a summer blockbuster that got trapped into the small screen due to the bed bug. You can see some terrible green screen moments and you can really feel the set design. I mean, you could tell they didn't go to the actual countries. And like I said, for some, this is gonna start getting really old with The Rock and Ryan Reynolds doing the same stuff that you've seen before. The Rock and Ryan Reynolds and Gal Gadot work really well together. They look great. The settings are great. You got the boats, you got the cars, you got everything that you want in terms of a blockbuster movie. But there's still something about this movie that screams that you've kind of seen this before and maybe you've seen it done better before in other movies. So there's some minor flaws and maybe I'm nitpicking here because it seems like everybody really liked this movie. Just for me, I've seen it done before. I've seen Ryan Reynolds, The Rock, and Gal Gadot be these characters already in other films. All in all, this is probably a good movie to Netflix and chill and pop it on a lazy afternoon and just relax and have a good time. I mean, you got these three badass actors. One of them is bound to get you hot and bothered. I know which one it was for me. Ooh. No. Overall, this is a solid Netflix original. It's the perfect blend between star power, action scenes, and a treasure hunt. And that's why I'm gonna give Red Notice a B minus. So as always guys, thank you for returning to the channel. Take care of yourself, God bless, and we will see you on the next one.